Hi hello this is Anup here and this is a review video of one of the product from Patch My PC this is really exciting and there are lot of automation and lot of things which which I am going to show you today and that is that will be very exciting for you and your organization if you are having packaging team who packages every updates of applications like Java Chrome uh, so basically that is manual packaging right how to how to eliminate or how to move on with automation right that is that is what we are going to see today uh, okay I'm really excited uh, doing this um, uh, review you okay let's get into it first of all this is the this is the place you can get all the details about patch my PC okay and their documentation is very good uh, and straightforward uh, there is a PDF file as you can see over here that will uh, that will get you there install their publishing tool there is a video guide which can help you to understand it better from my perspective because I love video guides more than PDF I don't like reading PDF <laughs> personally so let's let's get into it to make this video easy I have already kind of downloaded the PDF file and I have already downloaded the MSI file I'm going to install this on my uh, primary server standalone primary server and this is technical preview version and it is running with 1907 technical preview okay so this is the default installation location that is program files so that means this is a 64-bit application basically that is pretty nice I don't like 32-bit applications I don't know why but yeah anyways <laughs> uh, that doesn't matter much okay launch publishing service from patch my PC and it requires admin access probably let's get into it okay first thing you need to provide a URL so you can get a trial version and you can get a catalog URL information from patch patch my PC okay or you can use the trial mode over here so if you use trial mode it will only populate a very less products okay let's let's get into trial mode first so it will automatically populate the trial URL so you don't have to do search for trial URLs in the website and check it out and kind of stuff like that right so this is directly available in their application itself publishing tool itself okay that's great stuff user experience okay let's go ahead and check the update rules in the update rules what you can see is basically the similar experience of similar experience of SCM console right it is giving the similar experience of SCM console so there is no learning curve I would say so if you are an SCM admin and you are familiar with products within software update component properties in SCM this is pretty similar to that right that is pretty nice so as you can see there are Mozilla updates there are Adobe updates and Notepad++ updates with this trial version if I want to change this and if I want to use my uh, where is that let me fetch that this is the unique um, URL catalog URL I got it from them so let let's do it let's validate it and see my URL is valid or not okay validated so so it it is it is in the in my name it's it's good so I have I have a license till 2013 yeah that's pretty nice right I'm going to use this in the lab so I'm not going to use this as a commercial thing or something so let's go back and check what are the changes over here update rules right so woo, wow <laughs> we got like 300 plus products now which patch, patch my PC is going to support that is cool so don't get confused with the search and the search right if you want to search product go with the bigger search <laughs> okay and this is for inventorying your SCM infrastructure uh, to get what are the third-party products you want okay so I'm going to use the search 
to search these options right product options and i'm going to select some of the options maybe java maybe chrome i don't know maybe firefox let's check Doo -doo -doo. firefox okay mozilla let's let's check out something 64 version full content let's check that out and let's go to the next step and see what is application rules so this is an exciting feature right this is what i mentioned about uh, the introduction of this video if you are having a packaging team who manually creates the package for every updates of java every updates of mozilla firefox every updates of chrome uh, that is going to be hectic task right nowadays in a modern world probably chrome will update every day so probably like that is the way microsoft is also going right so we need to be very agile in that approach that there should be some automation in place so this is an perfect example for that this this application rules from patch my pc is giving you that opportunity so what it will do is it will basically if you select um, application over here what will happen is if you want to update your applications like chrome and firefox and java whenever the vendor releases the new version what this will do is this will automatically create a um, application within SSCM console for you it will uh, deploy to all the existing clients so it will automatically make sure that all the all the clients are having updated version and you don't have any risk having the previous versions or old versions of the those products like chrome and java and all okay let me give uh, the details of my SSCM environment so my S sms provider is the same as the server and i i'm going to provide the source folder path okay so i have populated the sms provider and i have populated the source folders now let's look into these options right allow application to be installed from install application task sequence action so these are application creation options which patch my pc tool is going to do automatically uh, within your sccm environment that is pretty nice okay code sign in and all the stuff this is interesting option right uh, we have options like automatically update application content and distribution points okay that's pretty nice right fully automation end to end automatically update application but don't update the distribution point okay if you have a change management in place and you want more controls uh, in that update process if you are a big organization you have that option also okay cool create new application so that is that is more stricter options right if you are change management freak <laughs> and your organization's change management system is pretty tight then probably this is the option for you okay it's it's up to your organization uh, which option you want to select right so i'm going to the default option and that is the best best way of automating the stuff right automatically distribute the content for the newly created application okay that is cool and over here you have an option to uh, check what are the distribution point groups and kind of stuff like that okay anyways why this okay button is not <laughs> enabled okay but that is because of uh, i didn't accept it let's accept it and go ahead this is this is enabled now now i can again use the search button and i can say which one firefox 64 bit okay let's see what is happening with that firefox 64 bit that's cool right okay so we have seen application rules and general settings update rules as well and now uh, the exciting feature fully automation right if you if you right click on this all products what you can see wow this is great stuff right this is really exciting publish updates there are a lot of options publish updates using full content publish updates using metadata only so automatically kill conflicting processes before installing updates skip updates installation so what does this mean automatically sorry automatically 
kill conflicting processes before installation if you have a chrome update basically if the browser is open probably that won't work right so this this will automatically this is a this is a custom action kind of stuff right so this will automatically kill that chrome session and say like okay so, so let's go ahead with the chrome update or firefox right so that is pretty nice so there is an option to skip also if you don't want users to yell at you by closing closing the applications automatically on their system <laughs> then you can use this option right you got all the options over here right uh, all the choices all the most of the scenarios are covered in this option right delete desktop shortcuts created by this application so chrome firefox and all will automatically create a desktop application i'm sorry desktop shortcut for all the users right but if you are if you are creating today probably your internal uh, packaging team is kind of creating <laughs> kind of creating a uh, custom packages to remove that shortcuts but with patch my pc publishing tool you can use uh, you can select this button and that will automatically make sure that it will delete desktop shortcuts that's pretty nice okay if you so for, for example this is a nice thing right disable self updater <laughs> i have seen like java and in in my previous admin days right the java and all every time kind of updating on my pc and that is kind of creating problems and then we created some of the policies to disable it and it was it was real pain and uh, back in that days right but uh, with this kind of a tool it is pretty straightforward you just need to click on a button and it that will automatically take care of that automatic updating problem for all the products which you have selected from here that's that's pretty cool this is what i call end to end automation right okay manage update logging option oh this is another exciting stuff if you want to collect the log files from the client and if you want to store it in a server location you can provide a unc path right okay that is that is pretty cool right if i can go back and check what are the other options available over here if i if i click on right click on the particular update something like mozilla i can see more options like here right add custom pre and post pre or post update installation scripts that is pretty nice see i can i can put my scripts if i have if, if i have some security requirements or user experience requirements as per our organization or your organization then i can i can put that script directly over here that is pretty nice option wow that is that is great okay other options are also here modify the command line if if you want to modify the command line of a particular application or update i would say like go ahead and do that from this point or this this option additional argument right additional mst or i don't know like whatever you want uh, depending on your custom or depending on your packaging standards right okay let's go back to application rules so let's go back to the mozilla one and right click on that so over here also you will get the same options right um, while creating applications it will automatically take care of all these configuration if you want to add pre post update installation scripts you can do that delete uh, shortcuts you can do that directly from here modify command line you can do that super cool right let's say this is nice enable all the products i don't want to do that for this demo at least it is it is giving a lot of uh, options to sync and enable sync schedules right custom sync schedules apart from your sccm schedules this is an exciting option for me trigger sccm update point sync when new third party updates are published that is pretty nice you don't have to go to <laughs> every time to sccm and uh, check or run the sync okay always so it will automatically take care of that sync it will automatically sync whenever there is new update and 
and that will be available for you to use and you will get a notification email that's pretty cool stuff right and even if you are as, as i mentioned if you are a change freak and if your organization is very strict in the change management process then you can use this right disable sync schedule okay let's do it manually okay as per your organization requirement for a particular business okay critical business let's look into the notification and proxy not uh, proxy settings use if you have a proxy most of the organizations are having a proxy you might have to put in your proxy details over here and this is pretty nice to give user authentication uh, to provide your service account name and kind of stuff like that that uh, that is cool and smtp notification right so that this is also nice whenever there is a sync there is an update it will automatically notify you that's cool advanced options modify published updates local content repository for licensed products so this is also a cool option um, you can you can go into the URL and you can find out for the proxy right if you are using if you are behind a firewall if you are behind a corporate proxy then you might need to you might need to uh, whitelist some of the domains like it depends uh, which are the domains you want to whitelist because if you have a product like like Chrome, Firefox, probably Java, then you need to kind of whitelist those domains like google.com and probably, I don't know, uh, mozilla.com or something like that, where from where the content, full content will be downloaded into your SCM server where this, this patch my PC publishing tool is installed okay so you don't need to open those things from your end user or end end user device okay so this needs to be opened or whitelisted from your server where this tool is running right okay that's cool okay that's it on this tool let's go ahead and sync it from this button using this button run publishing service sync let's do that okay let's check the log file so before getting into that so this is a folder where the patch my pc publishing tool is installed and this is the log file you which you want to look at to understand what is happening behind the scenes patch my pc dot log okay, i have already opened it let's see what is happening it's downloading and validating my name is there SSM version 1907 okay fine I'm going to split this video into two parts so this is the end of the first part uh, in this first part we have seen the general settings update rules application rules sync schedule policy notification advanced settings and all the details about patch my PC publishing settings and I have provided my kind of feedback about the product the review about the product basically in the second second video we will see more into the SCM side of it how uh, this tool is kind of publishing the updates automatically into SCM as well as creating applications in SCM okay that's pretty nice stuff thank you for watching see you later with the second edition of this review